what's up everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to be changing the oil on this 2004 chevy silverado and i'm going to show you the most important part of changing the oil on these vehicles so first let's go down and drain the oil okay so we're gonna drain the oil this is a 13 millimeter Come from up top. Okay, now I'm going to be removing the filter okay now the filter is loose we're just gonna let it drain Remove it the rest of the way. Okay. Just gonna wipe off here around the filter. Okay. Just where the surface meets. Okay, that's good enough. Now notice how the filter is mounted vertically. Okay, now I'm gonna put the Drain bolt back. But first, I'm just going to wipe the surface. Okay, put the drain bolt back. Okay. After it hits the pan, I'm just going to give it a quarter of a turn. Just to make it snug. Okay, that's enough. Now this engine takes 5W30, so I'm going with the high mileage mobile one, 5W30, and the original AC Delco oil filter. This is the part number if you need it. Now here's the most important part of this oil change is that the oil filter goes on vertically, so it goes up and spins, right? So uh, I wanna pre-fill it with oil and the reason for that is the oil pump the main feed for the oil pump is the oil that comes out of the oil filter it gets filtered and then it runs and it goes to the oil pump so the oil pump can send it to the top of the engine now if this goes on dry the oil pump for the first five seconds or so is going to have is going to run dry so there's going to be metal to metal contact same for the top of the engine so with us filling the filter with oil we can avoid that now you can say this is not significant like a couple seconds well that's maybe true but when it happens over and over in oil changes it can become very significant for the health of the engine so we're going to fill this on and we're going to install it okay so i'm going to try my best to shoot for the middle okay I think it's good to see the oil up to the top here. So I'm just gonna grab some and lubricate the top of the filter so we can remove it easily next time. Now let's go put it on. Okay, so I'm gonna spin it on by hand and tighten it with a rag by hand and that's it. Okay, that's good enough. Wipe the area so we can check for leaks later 
and should be good to go. Let's go up top. Okay, so looking from the front of the engine, this is the fill tube here. So I'm gonna set it here and let's fill the engine with four and a half quarts. Okay, now let's check the oil level. Make it clean. And that to the max point. Awesome. Let's start the truck. Okay, final check. And right at the end of the hatched mark, right at the max level. Right here. Awesome, we're good to go. Okay, so this is it for today's uh, video. Uh, if the most important part is not draining or just throwing a new filter on. Whatever you can to prevent lack of lubrication, prevent metal to metal contact. It's a great, uh, it's a great opportunity to just do it because it's gonna lengthen the life of your engine, and it's gonna help it last a lot longer uh, without the uh, the all the. Uh, stuff that like ticking or noise or anything like that happen especially if you're keeping the vehicle long term so this is a few tip i hope this video is helpful to you if it is please give it a big thumbs up please subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one peace